Hello, co-creators. I'm Kelly Keith. I am your spiritual body. And today we'll be doing a tarot reading for the sign Taurus. Okay, Tauruses. Remember, always check with your own tarot cards to see if you get similar cards or similar messages. Okay, I always suggest to do this. Energy is forever changing, so don't take this as like it's set in stone. All right, these are just messages that I am currently reading. It's a timeless reading. Whenever you found this, this message was meant to find you. Okay, this is your present energy whenever you found this. It could be a year from now. It doesn't matter. Whenever you found this, Taurus, this message is for you. Okay, so I want to speak about New Earth's energy for a minute. New Earth's energy is living with more unconditional love. Okay, that means loving without judgment or conditions. So minding your own business you know that is not my business not judging another not judging self first not judging others okay new earth's energy is about um ascension process is evolution is growth expansion it's about all of our clairs are enhancing right now so you may be reading people's minds. You may be really connected to your spirit self without even meditating or without even trying. You're hearing it more clearly. That gut instinct, without even practicing with different tools and techniques, is already enhanced, okay? So it's just about being aware of this energy and knowing that it's there and knowing, trusting yourself, trusting your plan, trusting, okay? That is New Earth's energy. New Earth's energy is about growth mindset, doing better than you were doing yesterday. Okay, so with that said, let's jump in. I already pulled some Oracle messages for you, Le uh, Taurus. Leo. All right, Taurus. So I've got blood. Okay, so I'm, um, I pulled from the Wild Unknown Alchemy Guidebook. I will got the card deck for you and I got blood, okay? This is in your initiative and initiation, okay, uh, position. It means active, uh, it's a very vitality, okay? It's a lot of vitality, it's a lot of active energy. Also, this tells me um, it's a lot of life force and it, it kind of makes the rest of you're reading alive wherever there's red and there is a lot of there's a lot more red in your your cards here okay it is also letting me know as advice i am not a doctor maybe you should get a full panel of your blood work done that that is maybe you can catch something in advance or maybe it's just good to know right now for that life force vitality of the blood that's pulsing through us okay since that came up it's probably a good time to do that, okay? You can never be, you know, too in the know about your body, okay? Your body will give you messages, but it's gonna keep sending you messages and they're gonna get louder. So it's better to be ahead of the game, right? And that's how you can do that is by checking your blood. Okay, so moving on, your fortune position coming, um, okay, so having a harvest. We've got autumn here and I'm seeing like the fruits of your labor. You're gonna be able to pick from the trees, okay? So um, this is, you know, this present energy. Like you've got money coming in. You've got a lot of things that you've aligned up for money to come in for you. Um, also, you can be uh, donating to, to others right now. You have so much money coming into you at this time. It's time to be more generous. So the, the flow, the healthy flow of coming in and coming out and coming in and coming out and coming in and staying in and then coming out, you know, to be generous right now because you have so much coming to you. This is your fortune. It's in your fortune position as well. Underneath that, I'm seeing enthusiasm. And over here with the blood underneath that, I'm seeing new beginnings new beginnings and I'm seeing autumn, I'm seeing winter. So by next year, I'm seeing, or this could be current, 
No, because there's autumn there. Hmm. New beginnings. New beginnings are coming. That's that's what I see. And then the harvest, I'm seeing you being very enthusiastic. Enthusiasm is God's energy. What is feeling good is God. What is not feeling good is not. So whatever is good is your path, it is your direction. And this harvest is a gift from your higher self. Like this is something you have been focused on. It's a project you have been working on. It's um, some classes you've been taking. It's some money that you've been investing. It's, it's all of the above of good money coming towards you. The fruits of your labor. Okay. Then moving on to resistance. What is in your resistance position? I see. So you can get more time... Um, for yourself, I'm seeing separation, okay? I'm seeing separation, but it's so you can get more time for yourself. It's, it's telling me that you're resistant, you're resistant right now, but you've been, okay, so you've been resisting this energy or Others around you have been resisting to allow you to have this energy, I'm hearing. But it's so you can get more time for yourself. This is, and you've been resistant. You're in the resistance. Resistance is choosing not to act on this, okay? So it's in, this card could be... Um, because of this energy, the active energy, it's from card one, that, that whatever you have a hard time doing, you're, you're having a hard time acting on you getting more time for yourself. How, how to ask for more time for yourself. How to delegate more time for yourself. <laughs> like other tasks to other people so you can get some more time to yourself okay that's what i'm seeing um taurus okay um take it how it resonates you know leave the rest don't try to make the message fit um your destination where you're headed is uranus and this energy is like growth this is this is um you may or may not be experiencing this yet and it's it's future it's in your destination it's where you're going to be going um, you're going to gain a new perspective and get more indi individual in your life, more individualism, starting something new from like a business. It could be because of this harvest of money that you have coming in. You're going to invest. You're going to invest in something. It's going to be coming in maybe in autumn. I'm hearing new beginning in autumn from that harvest of money that's coming in this year for you to have some kind of individualism with a new business okay you're going to be gaining a new perspective of this that this is a direction that you would like to take and you're going to act on it with that blood energy with that vital force energy okay so moving on um, separation. So I'm seeing more focus. You're focused more on getting more time for yourself. You are trying to have more of a spiritual adventure about life, trying or, or trying to travel more. You're trying to educate yourself more so you can have more time to travel. You want to have new experiences in your life. This 2024, you um, and you know it doesn't even mean 2024. This is a timeless reading, but. Um, what I'm, this is present energy. Okay. So whenever you found this, it may, it, it could be 2025. It could be 2026 when you found this. It doesn't matter when you found it. The point is, is that it, it activated in 2024. Okay. For you to want to travel more for you, whatever you're educating on yourself on right this minute, you're getting inspired action from your guides and this is it's all coming from within you like this is a life force from within you you're connected to your soul and you are um, headed towards a more spiritual adventure in your life 
and I see further, um, you know, in the near future, more playfulness, or you need to be adopting more playfulness in your life right now. Not being so serious, Taurus. Try not to be so serious. Your desires are within reach. Have faith, have patience, and be more excited and be relieved. Have more relief because this is coming to you. This is coming to you. It, it, all you need to do to help the energy and get the momentum to come more is play more. If you have children or if you have friends that you could play with and laugh more, um, blessings in disguise are coming. You just need to trust that there's a surprise coming to you. The power of prayer also I'm seeing right here. Surrender, believe, affirm, release. The opposite of this card. Resistance, doubt, deny, and attachment. Okay, so the power of prayer is also helping you at this time. If you do pray, your prayers are being answered. And if you don't pray, it's a message that it's time to start praying because it's going to bring you blessings in disguise. It's going to help you to have more of a spiritual adventure and travel more in life. To be more free to do that. Okay, I'm seeing imbalance, the opposition, a point of tension, and a power struggle is going on at the current moment. So all you need to do to release this is to play, have more fun. Okay, laugh more. Don't take life so seriously, Taurus. Okay, I'm seeing structure, discipline, life mission, accomplishments, and career. This is where you are focused on the 10th house. I'm seeing an owl here. I'm seeing a heart with a rosebuds coming out of it. That just shows me that your heart is opening up to blossoming to more love and compassion for others. That's what I see for you, Taurus. That's great. That is so great. You're softening your heart more. Let's get you some tarot cards. Those were just your oracle messages. God's got us. Send to masters and guides. Show me what Taurus needs to see. Show me what Taurus needs to see. Clear message for Taurus, please. Show me what Taurus needs to see. Clear message for Taurus. Show me what Taurus needs to see. Give me a clear message for Taurus. Well, this one wants to come out. The star. All right. So that's the central. That's the central for... Taurus, okay, wow, two major arcanas, you're going through it, you're going through some major stuff right now, okay, so, um, okay, so what is in the subconscious for Taurus, please show me what, Taurus, okay, okay, um, in the past position for Taurus, show me Um, in the conscious position, okay. In the immediate future, and what's before them, okay. In the self position for Taurus, what is sun, moon, and rising for Taurus? Show me what is their self card. Transformation. Mm, you're changing metamorphosis in your self position, the death card. Show me a lot of changes happening in your self position. You are representing like a lot of change. What how is the world around Taurus viewing them right now? Show me how the world around Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising is being viewed by their immediate circle. Clear message, please. As a knight of swords, ambitious action oriented driven fast thinking okay how what is going on in Taurus's mind hopes and fears show me a clear message okay a two of cups you hope to have love and partnership mutual attraction marriage connection your hopes and your fears togetherness settling of energy union balance and your fears about that is Disharmony, disharmony, disharmony with love and distrust, 
breakups and balance tension break broken communication you fear to have that in your love relationships and you hope to have this healthy connection and unified love with your partner what's the outcome that was an accident what's the outcome for Taurus please Sun Moon and Rising give me a clear message for Taurus please show me what Taurus needs to see wheel of fortune and if Taurus does nothing at all with this advice from this reading what is the alternative outcome for Taurus please show me a clear message what is clear alternative lovers new choices in love okay um bottom of the deck okay so bottom of the deck is the devil card all right shadow self this is overall energy when it's on the bottom of the deck it reduces to six the number is about um, responsibility and harmony um, addiction restrictions attachment sexuality temptations destructive behavior materialism codependency okay so it could be trickster energy like you're trying to manipulate you're trying to manipulate to get what you want in your life with it being a lover or a friend or family or work okay uh, dark thoughts being negative thinking your overall energy right now is restoring control resentment lack of will um, detachment that could be where you are trying to get you're not speaking up for yourself to get that space that you're needing and desiring so you're having these um oh you're releasing limiting beliefs at this time and that's why this um devil's energy is here you're feeling um trapped you're feeling stuck it's in your mind um devil's energy is feeling it's self-imprisonment of your own mind that's what you're having right now and your overall energy but you're working through that energy because I don't see it here in the rest of your reading besides you wanting and desiring some space or having some difficult time with um, getting a healthy amount of space Or maybe you're getting too much space and you're not knowing how to communicate that okay Taurus in your central issues I see the star energy so it's totally opposite of that energy okay but it, it could be reversal which is lack of faith despair discouragement insecurity self-trust disconnection okay reduces it to an eight is about power and success the star energy is usually about recognition, rejuvenation, good omen, faith, purpose, spirituality, fortune. But with the overall energy of the devil card being here at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to say that you're experiencing the challenging face of this card right now, Taurus. And that is a lack of faith, okay, and despair. And it could be just because you need to speak up and try to get a healthy amount of personal space without having to be manipulative to get it or without having to push people away to get it you can have an amount of space on your own you just need to learn to communicate it things that you don't want to do you just need to communicate it you need to set your boundaries in a healthy way judging yourself or others is what's hindering you from having the faith in your life and the hope and being calm and having the success um, that you're desiring right now with your relationships and work a new phase forgiveness of yourself and others an inner calling is happening right now this um, what's what's um, what could help you is having less judgment of self and others it it could help you and and free you from your lack of faith you're having and the despair feeling you're feeling right now and the disconnection lack of self-awareness 
this is what's holding you back or what can help you is the judgment is having less judgment of yourself and others and stop ignoring the call your spirit your higher self and guides connecting to your spirit self right now really never ignoring your intuition right now like new earth's energy do not ignore your intuition it is your inner gps system it will never lead you wrong if you need that separate if you need some space you need to focus right now on trying to communicate it in a healthy way okay maybe take some relationship classes maybe get a relationship coach maybe start watching them on youtube to get some better communicate go buy a book on how to communicate your feelings and boundaries okay Taurus that's what I'm seeing for you to help you right now is to have less judgment of self and others that will help you free you and just by becoming aware of it in this reading can help you free yourself from that energy okay just by listening to it and claiming yes that's my energy right now if it's not don't make it fit okay just disregard it and um, there'll be more in the reading for you other messages in your subconscious position um, what you're not seeing the competition challenge these are a lot of heavy cards um, you're exhausted you're exhausted you feel like giving up you're not expressing this to others or you're you're not even expressing this to yourself your subconscious wants you to know that you're feeling overwhelmed and you're also overly protective you have some destroyed confidence in life right now all you have to do is become aware of this energy and you will get mastery of your choices and responsibility regaining and losing control you will feel more in control again just by becoming aware that this energy is going on and like acknowledging that you have been exhausting yourself and you that you are going through a challenge but it's because you've been judging yourself and others so much you're being too hard on yourself you just need to acknowledge this and you will free yourself in your past you had a lot of opportunities a lot of wishful thinking a lot of choices you were living in an illusion you were daydreaming a lot searching for a new purpose um that was in your past position procrastination a little bit um, in your conscious position, I see creative opportunities, messages of love, um, possibility, curiosity, happy, surprise, dreamer, sensitivity, new love coming in like you're going to be romanticizing life more. Very emotional, mature. Okay. In your conscious position that's what I see for you and your um, fo your future card or what is before you card is abundance ace of Pentacles manifestation opportunities new career financial opportunities there's that harvest the autumn that's coming in and like I said it doesn't have to be autumn it was just a message about autumn like harvest and it was you know showing the fruits of your labor this is um, confirming that and this is in your future position. In your self card, I see transformation, transitioning, metamorphosis. Maybe um, you are learning that you have been too judgy of yourself and others and too hard on yourself. And so you are learning to transform yourself, the, the, your thinking, the way you word things. You're paying closer attention to your negative thoughts. In your self position, that is personal transformation. You're not resisting change. You're recognizing that you've had fear of change and you're allowing it to happen now. Um, I mean, because that's all it is. It's just uh, becoming aware that you've been doing that and you free yourself. That's all it takes. Okay, the world around you is seeing you as very ambitious and action-oriented and driven to succeed. Fast thinking, impulsive energy. It's the Knight of Swords. It's the fastest moving night. That's how people are seeing you. You're just fast, fast ambitious going after your, your goals yeah your hopes and fears is in love I said that earlier is 
you you hope to have a very healthy relationship in love and in your connection with your lover and you fear not having good communication and broken communication with your love or you fear breaking up with your love that is a fear of yours Taurus um, in your current position that is what's on your mind right now you fear that okay your outcome if you do um, if you do everything here that I I've given you advice of to stop judging yourself and others to recognize that you know just become aware that you you're exhausted right now and um, to take more time for yourself and try to um, not be so controlling of yourself um, Realizing that you're overwhelmed and learn to ask for that space that you need and desire at this time. If you take the advice of these cards, okay, you are going to get good luck. You're going to get the wheel of fortune, karma, life cycles, uh, completing themselves. A turning point is going to happen, inevitable. Um, a return to beginning, only at a higher level in the spiral of life. All right, that's what's gonna happen. Um, but uh, the alternative um, outcome, if you do nothing at all, like if you just hear this and you're like, yeah, whatever, I don't wanna claim any of that, none of that's my story. The outcome is in love, you're gonna have a, a choice in love, okay? You're gonna have a choice in love Disharmony, disharmony and imbalance, misalignment of values, conflict from bad choices, indecision, and fear of commitment. You're going to need more self-love. You're going to feel detachment because of choices that you had to decide from, and you didn't, you didn't choose. You didn't, you didn't act when you should have. So this would be the alternative outcome, but let's not go with that. Let's go with the wheel of fortune, right? Let's get, let's focus on the fact that we've been judging ourselves too much and others and that we've been over exhausting ourselves, and we're ready to get balanced with that and ask for help and ask for that space, that positive time for ourself and to, and to consciously try to focus on giving more love and respect and romance to our loved ones. Um, or our lover in our life, a message of love. That's what that is, sharing a message of love. Um, and continuing to transform and recognize your transformation as it's happening in your self card. And, and you are going to have this turning point, okay? You're not gonna experience a challenge in choices of uh, love in your life. You're gonna experience good karma, life cycles, a completed, uh, you know, stressful time, you're going to have good luck, good karma, and um, inevitable fate of ups and downs are going to be done. The unpredictability is going to be over. You're going to start a new beginning in a higher level in the spiral of life. That's what I see for you because you are going to take that advice, right, Taurus? Right. All right. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Bye for now.